Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my stylish floral gift box. Um, a slightly different um, style box in terms of uh, its closure. Um, so it's just got a little diamond bit there that tucks in. Nice sized box. Um, no, I didn't run out of DSP or lose my mind. I just thought I wanted to change it up. Why do you always have to use the same on every side? Well, you don't. So I went with Granny Apple Green for this DSP, Calypso Coral for this one, uh, and the same Granny Apple Green with this one on the front. Um, and just a cute little sentiment. I didn't want to overfill it. I think this DSP speaks for itself um, and I don't need to add loads of bling or ribbon or anything because it is just so pretty. So let's go ahead and make it. You do need a sheet of 12 by 12 basic white that is cut down to 11 by 9, um, 28 by 22 and a half centimetres. Um, on the long side we're going to score at half an inch, three and a half and seven and a half. Then you're going to rotate clockwise <laughs> and score at three and six. I've missed a set of scoring off here. Um, ten and a half. Yes, let me just write that down. I knew I'd missed one off. I couldn't work out why that didn't look right. So, sorry. Um, crumbs. Let me just double check my measurements. Um, um, 1, That's confusing. That's where I've missed off. Sorry, I'm just doing my centimetre maths. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry, long side is uh, half, three and a half, seven and a half, ten and a half, and in centimetres that would be one and a half, nine, nineteen and twenty-six and a half, and then the short side is three and six, seven and a half and fifteen. Sorry about that. At least it was a simple one. And then we're going to fold and burnish those score lines. And then there we go. So then we need to do some cutting. So this is the base of your box, these are your side panels. So we're going to turn these into tabs. Um, so I'm just going to flip it over. So working from the short side here, no, sorry, yeah, that's right, working from this from um, the long side. You're going to cut down here and there and the same here and then just trim just there. Okay, so we're going to repeat that this side. So cut down there and wedge it and then wedge this side like so. Okay, so we're now going to repeat that the opposite side. So again, cut down and wedge and cut down and then just across there. And then the last one down, wedge, and wedge and across. Okay rid of my rubbish. So you should now be left with this effect. These now will need trimming because you don't need that length. So I'm going to go along and just take some off. I always hang on to these bits for little sentiments or punching 
um, things out of. They're still really useful. So you now have this shape. So if you flip it back over now, so you're looking at the inside, this part here is the back. So I actually use my pencil and just put a B on there, very lightly, because what I also need to do now is on these two edges here, I need to give them quite shallow wedges. Okay, so that's that one done. And then the same on this one. So quite shallow wedges. Okay, so when this goes together now, you can see that there's a little bit of clearance at the top here. The reason for that is because we need to fix the lid on. So I'm going to move this to one side and the piece for your lid is six and a half by four, 16 and a half by 10 centimetres. And you're simply going to score at three and six on the long side, which is seven and a half and 15. Simples, simples. Okay, fold oops, and burnish those. And then what you need to do here is just cut some wedges. And again, don't be shy with them because again, what you're now looking at is gluing that onto here and that is why these ones needed to be shallow so you've not got loads of overlap there okay i'm gonna do my diamond on here and this is really simple so get your ruler and find the center point of your box so for me it's two inches and in centimeters it will be five centimeters so find the centre, depends on whether you want to use your trimmer or scissors. I'm going to use my trimmer just because I do want it to be right. I'm putting the fold uh, score line on the um, track and then I want to line that up with my... You can use a ruler or whatever you feel comfortable doing, but I'm just going to do it like this. Cut that piece off there, rotate and brain's not working do the same way so again score line and point on my cutting track and there's my diamond ready and cut move that out of the way so i'm quite happily now going to stick this onto here just so that my box is built up and ready and i am actually going to use my seal plus again so I know this is the back because I put my B on it and then I'm just going to line my score line with the top of the box which isn't there no 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 oh nearly 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 or the other option is to line it up like this and fold it over which is probably a far sensible option okay so my box is made up as i want it so then you're going to need your layers and card so flipping this over again now you need three four four pieces of cardstock to go one there you don't put one on the base, one on the back, one on the lid, and one for your diamond, which we aren't actually going to do just yet. And then you need the same with your DSP. So you've got your layers and then your two sides, like so. Okay, so your sides which i'll do first because they're easier so you need two that of, of card that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters or seven by seven centimeters 
polished pink is the colour of choice for this one. I wasn't sure if it would clash with the Merry Malo, but you know, we'll try. <laughs> So that goes on there, and then your DSP is two and a half by two and a half, six and a half by six and a half centimeters. Make sure your patterns go in the correct way if you have one. Don't glue the wrong side, <laughs> which I quite regularly try. That's the way it needs to go, and then. Three of these I'm going to glue on. So your card is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. You need four of those. And then your DSP will be three and a half by two and a half nine by six and a half did i give you the centimeters for the card nine and a half by seven so basically you just reduce everything by um a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter that's generally how i work it uh, that one gonna go that way and then one for the top there and I'll show you how I did my diamonds. So, as I say, I've still cut the layers as normal. So, let me just move this. So, um, card layer is three and three quarters by two and three quarters, nine and a half by seven, and my DSP is three and a half by two and a half, nine by six and a half. Again, exactly the same scenario. Now this time, obviously, this is a quarter of an inch, half a centimetre less. All I simply did was um, put my ruler on. So this is now three and three quarters. But if I move it along so that my ruler is just um, a one-eighth of an inch, I have one-eighth of an inch this end before I get to four. So I can still mark my two, and that's the centre. Exactly the same with um, my DSP, but this is now three and a half. So clearly, um, the centre for me is one and three quarters, which I just mark like so. Back in with my trimmer, and this time we're going from corner to mark. And again, corner, whoops, miles away then, corner to mark. Again, if you want to use a ruler or a, um, or freehand or whatever you want to use, then by all means, but this worked for me, so. And then corner to mark again, whoops, don't be slipping, that's quite naughty. Cutting again. And that gives us our two triangles. And then if I stick my, I'm just going to try and get a bit more adhesive up into that corner. This should now layer nicely on here. Yes, it does. Just get my razor there and get rid of that mark. Bring this back in and then Repeat with this one. This should again now sit nicely on here. Yes, not bad. There we go. Right, now we can make this little beauty up. So Adhesive on here, and then we can make this up like so. I know what you're all thinking, but you've left that pencil B on the back. It 
it's fine, don't panic, don't panic because once you've made this up like so, no, no, let's have you where I want you, thank you. Once you've made this up like so, I still have a little bit of overlapping but it just looks quite messy in there, all those bits. And so, although I haven't got one cut ready, which is just typical, um, I simply put a layer inside. So your inside panel is four by three, uh, ten by seven and a half. But what I actually did was I took it just over my track. So I'm taking off an absolute slither either side so lot, uh, long side and short side and then add some adhesive and then simply pop this inside now you don't see the bee and you don't see the mess so you can fold that down Oh no, I didn't do that the opposite side, did I? Silly me, never mind. Um, so the last part then is this lovely, um, lovely labels pick a punch. So I'm going to go with, still with the True Beauty that goes with the um, DSP. And this lovely just because, because I think that that is really nice. Um, I need to trim this down to half an inch and then this one down to three quarters. And then I just need some Merry Mallow to stamp my sentiment. In the center. Oops, good job we have two sides. There we go. Let's get rid of that before I get in a mess. And then put this in here. And then that side as well. And then this one goes in like so. And then I just need to measure just to about there. This is being brave now because we're going to see if this actually will fit. I'm confident. <laughs> Right, I just need to, because I turned this over, I just need to flatten those beveled edges where I scored, where I cut them. So that, oh, just perfect. So adhesive on the back and then stick that onto there. A couple of dimensionals and you want these either end as far across as you can get them without them obviously showing and then I can't believe I didn't turn that DSP around it's because I was so focused on doing my triangles and then you can simply pop this on there like so and there we have it there they are my stylish floral gift boxes Thank you for joining me. See you all again soon. Bye.